Mombasa, the jewel of Kenya's coastline, is a city celebrated for its serene beaches, tantalizing cuisine, and vibrant nightlife. Yet beneath this allure lies a stark contrast to a darker narrative of gun violence and tough wars. Among these shadows emerged Mohamed Mohsen, who famously known as Dogo Prisu. A charismatic and fearless 21-year-old, he rose to infamy as the leader of the TMK gang, Temik Wanom, a group that began as neighborhood vigilantes in Old Town before descending into a reign of terror. Born and raised in Kibakoni, a historic area of Old Town, Dogo Prisu's childhood was unremarkable yet filled with simple joys. Days spent swimming in the Indian Ocean and playing beach football formed the foundation of friendships that would later bath TMK. What began as a group of childhood friends evolved into a criminal syndicate led by Prisu and his close allies, Bobo Cha, Shafa, and Amito. Initially, TMK claimed noble intentions, protecting their Kibokoni neighborhood from rival gangs in nearby Majengo. This guise of vigilante justice quickly gave way to darker motives. Unemployment and confinement to their territory, combined with heavy drug use, became the catalysts for their transformation. Rohypnol, their drug of choice, fueled violent and erratic behavior, leaving them addicted and emboldened. Unlike their counterparts in Nairobi, who often wielded firearms, TMK armed themselves with pongas, fearsome machetes symbolic of their brutality. Prisu embraced his role as a gang leader with pride, showcasing their arsenal and taunting rivals online. His social media posts, complete with images of weapons and a gang logo he designed, solidified TMK's reputation as a menacing force. The rivalry with the Floropa gang from Majengo escalated tensions further. Both gangs, united by shared origins of childhood camaraderie and drug addiction, became embroiled in a bitter feud. When a Floropa member named Wisu was mysteriously murdered during a wedding in August 2016, TMK was immediately blamed. The tragedy marked the beginning of a bloody gang war that spilled into the streets of Mombasa. In the next video we will continue with part 2 of this story narrating on how gang rivalry transformed Mombasa into an inhabitable battlefield. Subscribe, like and click on the notification bell. Reply with your thoughts in the comment section.